Yum. Super easy weeknight fried rice with my little magic tricks for getting the very best out of the simplest ingredients. This is my version of beef nasi goreng. So this is like my little weeknight riff on a very classic Indonesian fried rice nasi goreng. We're going to use um, a slightly different ingredients and just add a few little extras to kind of make things a bit special, but still easy. You know the deal. Um, let's get going on the beef part first of all, because we want to make things extra beefy. And I want to use beef mince because like on a weeknight, it means you don't have to slice any meat, which is, you know, I'm all for less chopping, less slicing, less dishes, all the things. Um, so to get the best out of our beef, I want to get my wok really hot or a large frying pan. If you don't have a wok, it's best to use the biggest frying pan that you have to kind of get the most heat, the most amount of surface area. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So a bit of oil. And make sure that's kind of like scary hot. Like, you know, there's so many um, people that talk about wok cooking and they're like, everything happens really fast and throw everything in. And, uh, you know, that's great if you are cooking in a Chinese restaurant and you have, your, you have a really high heat. Um, but at home, you kind of don't have that. The heat's not as high. Um, so you need to do things a little bit differently. I have a way that I like to stir fry and do fried rice, which gets the best out of everything when you're at home and not in like a fancy Chinese restaurant. Okay, so now let's get our beef into that hot oil. The other key is to spread that beef out and then just leave it. So I really want that beef to develop a really lovely caramelized kind of color on the bottom. It should smell like cheeseburgers. <laughs> it should smell like you put a burger on the grill and you're getting that really crusty brown stuff on the bottom because that is really good flavor and that's really good beefy flavor. So I really want to hard sear here a good like four to five minutes. Don't cheat, wait for the color. Okay, so we're looking at this kind of color here. It doesn't have to all be evenly colored. You know, I just want some like, you know, some, some brown spots here. And that's giving me that beefy flavor. Spread it out again. Let's get some more searing happening. Okay, so now we've got our little bits of beefy color. Most of that beef is also uh, almost cooked through. So let's go in with our onions now. And again, so, you know, you've got to give those onions time. We don't have that really high rest Chinese restaurant heat. So I want to give the onions time to soften up, um, lose that raw onion edge to them. So just keep kind of stir frying and tossing them through. Now, onions are nice and soft. I'm gonna add in my garlic and chili. It literally just smells like cheeseburgers or it just smells like burgers in here. <laughs> so let's, you know, get in with some of our um, Asian flavors that we need for a nasi goreng. And then this can stop smelling like a cheeseburger. Um, move everything to the side. And if you don't have a lot of oil here, I've only just got a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit more here. And now you want to go in with shrimp paste. So shrimp paste is the thing that gives this its Indonesian kind of flavor here. Now, don't smell the shrimp paste. I mean, it doesn't smell great, but it gives you the salty umami flavors and also that kind of characteristic, I guess, you know, for me, Indonesian flavor. So just add it in and you won't even know at the end. Now, just kind of dissolve that. The reason why I'm adding it in like this with the oil is that I want it to, I want to make sure that it dissolves um, and it goes evenly through the rice. If you just kind of plonk it in and sort of hope for the best, you might get little chunks of shrimp paste, which I wouldn't mind, but some people might not, might not like. <laughs> okay, so now things are definitely starting to smell way more Asian, great. Um, okay, so I wanna get in here with a little secret um, ingredient that I'm using here, and that is, it's not chocolate, looks like chocolate, but um, it is beef stock cubes. So, you know, I often like to add stock cubes. Um, mine are all natural stock cubes, by the way, just because I prefer that. But I do find, you know, coming from Thailand and having lived there, and I love to eat street food, fried rice, but I do know that it has, 
It does contain a lot of MSG, which is fine. I love, you know, I love street food and I, I love that, that, that it contains MSG because that's part of the charm. Um, but when I'm at home, I prefer not to cook with MSG. So I add the stock cube to give you that extra kick of flavor that I guess, you know, the MSG would do if you were eating it on the street or from a hawker store. That's just my preference. If you don't mind, you could add MSG, of course, yourself without the stock cube. So totally up to you. Now, I'm just gonna toss that through. Now I'm gonna go in with my rice. So this is rice that I, actually, you know, usually everyone says cook the rice the day before, and if I can, I will, but I wasn't really that organized today. So this is rice I cooked today, but I just used a little less water so that it's, it's a bit drier, um, because if you start out with gluggy rice, it's gonna get a whole lot messy in there and it's not gonna be nice. Okay, so I also want um, soy sauce in here. Now this next ingredient really sets this fried rice apart from, you know, fried rice in Thailand or in, you know China. Um, for me, an Indonesian nasi goreng or oh, my earring has decided it wants to uh, join the party. <laughs> Now this next ingredient really is the uh, special sauce, I guess, that gives this uh, the Indonesian flavor, and that is ketchup manis. It is a sweet, dark soy sauce. It adds color, it adds a little bit of sweetness, obviously. It kind of has a little bit more, like of a molasses -y kind of flavor, rather than just being like straight sweet. Very nice. Um, okay, so toss all of this through. And the whole idea here is you want to make sure that every little grain of rice here is beautifully coated and it's all evenly coloured. Now that is looking and smelling really good in my book. Okay, let's get this out onto a serving plate and you can see how quickly it's all come together, which is what you want on a weeknight. And some little extras here. I mean, even in Thailand, we always have extras with the fried rice. I really think it, it, it's what makes it a meal rather than a side dish. Um, so uh, I want some crispy fried shallots on top here. And some sambal olek, which gives you the tangy chili paste kind of flavor. And I want some crunchy cucumber. So there you go guys, that is my weeknight beef nasi goreng and I don't know, I mean it doesn't have to be a weeknight, I mean fried rice anytime, right? <laughs> I definitely love to have some of that chilli on there on my spoonful. Mm. Mm. Fried rice is such a comfort food for me and that is Beefy, savoury, salty, mm. and just beautiful texture on that fried rice. Mm. A little bit of cucumber, perfect. You know, you really could, I mean, typically you would have like a fried egg with this as well, which I love, but you know, keeping it simple today. Mm. Yum. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.